When Kate Ogg and her husband Dave found out they were expecting twins, they were absolutely thrilled with the help of modern medicines and in vitro fertilization. The Australian couple were two steps closer to their dreams of having a family. But nothing would prepare them for the drama that would soon unfold in the delivery room 27 weeks later. On March 25th, Kate knew something was wrong when Emily and Jamie arrived premature, weighing in at only two pounds each. Emily was healthy, but Jamie was in distress. After doctors tried reviving him for over 20 minutes, he was pronounced dead. The Oggs were devastated. They wanted to hold Jamie one last time, let him know he was loved and say their goodbyes. The nurses brought Jamie over to Kate and placed him on her bare chest for skin-to-skin -skin contact. After holding him for a few minutes, they noticed movement from Jamie, but the Oggs were told those were normal refluxes and not a sign that he was still alive. I ordered David to get his clothes off and get into bed with me because I wanted as much body heat around this baby as possible because he was cold and I wanted him to be warm and alive. We put his skin against my skin and then I just held him. Close to my heart, I moved his head so that his ear would be able to hear my heart beating. Kate continued to cuddle Jamie over the next two hours, during which she and Dave would witness a miracle. When Jamie opened his eyes, they felt blessed that although he had passed, they were still able to see him do this. But after Jamie's eyes continued to stay open, they questioned if he were actually dead after all. Turns out that despite the marvels of modern medical technology, it was mum Kate's cuddling instinct that saved her baby. Widely known in Australia and around the world as kangaroo care, a mother's body heat can help sustain a baby's body temperature when unavailable incubators could not. Thanks to mum's instincts, Jamie survived and is now a happy and healthy six-year-old boy. Way to go, mum. This is Nikki Delgado for nollygrio.com.